My parents were visiting me for the weekend and it was a normal Sunday morning. I had gotten up and had absolutely no, I, no symptoms at all. I just was brushing my teeth. I don't remember anything. I just remember waking up on the floor and my mom was screaming at me. And we went to the local ER there in town and they did an EKG, didn't see anything abnormal and they sent me home and didn't suggest to follow up with anybody and I kind of figured that there might be something else that maybe needed to be checked out. When I was a grad student here, I actually got my PhD in applied math and I did mathematical modeling in cardiomyocytes at heart cells. So I worked on a cardiac research floor. I knew several cardiologists, so I just picked up the phone and called one of them and told her what happened and she said that it'd probably be a good idea to come to Iowa City and go through some more tests to see if they could figure out what had actually happened. And they diagnosed it with neurogenic syncope, but because I'd only passed out the one time, we were hoping that it was just a fluke event and just kind of take a wait and see approach and see if it ever happened again. About a year later, it happened again. I was at my parents, it was right after Christmas, and that time it was much more severe. I passed out several times before we were even able to get to the ER there in Western Iowa, and then I requested to be transferred here to the University of Iowa Hospitals. They talked about tunnel vision, they talked about things like that, and I didn't have anything. I just collapsed. I met Dr. GGC when the decision was made to put in a link heart monitor, which is a long-term heart monitor. The link monitor was just going to record what happened when I passed out. It wasn't necessarily going to treat anything. He came into the exam room and the very first thing that he told me was that if I was his daughter, he wanted me to have the pacemaker. And knowing what I had just put my parents through and what they had seen, I knew that my decision was made. Well, your pacemaker has a special sensor in the right ventricle, so the right side, the venous side of the heart, where it is able to tell at any moment whether you are having the appropriate amount of blood returning to your heart to pump. And it does that well in advance. So people that normally have issues with loss of consciousness, where your blood pressure drops and then perhaps your heart rate drops, this device senses all that before any of that happens. He talked to me about the psychological aspects of getting a device at my age, because it's not typical at all. And then he also described all the aspects of surgery and the special submammary replacement that he was able to do. So which means I don't have a scar that anybody would ever be able to see. And nobody knows that I have a pacemaker unless I tell them. Care here has been absolutely amazing. The one thing that I've learned is that getting a pacemaker is a lifetime decision. It's not just a walk into the hospital and have surgery and you're done, you walk out the door. You have annual checkups, you someday will have to have it replaced and you hope that it's still a mechanical device and you hope that nothing goes wrong with it. And you need to have somebody that is on your team and that you can trust. And Dr. GC and his team, I, I wouldn't go anywhere else. University of Iowa Healthcare. Changing medicine, changing lives.